Hi, I'm Rob Lotus from Oneida Health Physical Therapy Department, and I'm going to be instructing you in some post-surgical exercises today. Um, you want to make sure that these exercises have been prescribed to you by your doctor, and if you should develop any abnormal symptoms or pain while you're doing these exercises, then you should stop and contact your doctor. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to properly do shoulder abduction. Uh, this will be, have to be done with some assistance from a helper, a family member, um, because it's a passive exercise, meaning the person who had the surgery will not be actually trying to move. The helper will be moving their arm. So you want to be, have the person who had the surgery lying down, and the person assisting will be supporting the arm at the elbow and at the wrist. Something like that. I prefer to keep the arm resting in my elbow and you want to have the thumb pointed up toward their head. Okay, and you're going to gently bring the arm out to the side, supporting the arm just to the level of the shoulder and then slowly bring it back to their side. And you want to just be moving through a pain-free range of motion so if the person has pain halfway through, don't pull beyond that pain and try to go farther. And you're going to repeat that about 10 times. And that's how you perform passive shoulder abduction. Thanks for watching.